Hello my dear children. So we are starting today chapter number 12 our forest concept number 1. So let us discuss why forests are an important gift of nature. Children we have discussed this already in the life class. So it's your duty to find out the answer for the same. We all know that ideally one third of the total area of a country should be under forest at present only about 1/4 of india's total area is under forest so children i have already asked you in the live classes that whether 1/3 is bigger or 1/4 you have correctly answered me the same you have told me that ma'am we have done in mathematics that 1/3 is actually bigger than 1/4 so india's total area is actually under meant okay we have to cover up you know the area of india which is under forest to raise up to 1/3 let's move forward and let us discuss the importance of forest so children they provide raw materials for certain industry they also provide food fodder i have already told you what is fodder fodder is known as dry hay okay which is used as a animal food i have already told you in the live class that fodder means bhusa in hindi okay it's fuel fertilizer and fiber they prevent soil erosion now we have already discussed what is soil erosion soil erosion the eradication of the top soil layer is known as soil erosion and they preserve the fertility of the soil as well they provide moisture and lower the temperature they are also the home for many animals and birds they also preserve the biodiversity they maintain the ecological balance they provide medicinal value which actually result in making of many medicinal drugs so you must have noticed in the corona times in this pandemic times you know everybody is advising you to take uh, some types of medis uh, some some type of medicinal herbs which can be you know healthy or maybe any kind of uh, normal natural hot herb which is actually available available due to the reasonable amount of forest intake now forest can also help to alleviate the psychological stress children if you remember in the live class ma'am asked you that whether your mama papa actually scolds you sometimes so when they scolds you and when you go out okay in the laps of forest or in park to somehow play or even if you don't play you know just for a walk you actually see that there is a kind of you know power in the particular you know nature because obviously that actually elevates us from stress if you have not tried this try that out again okay but don't tell your mama that my mama mom gave you this solution all right let's move further uh okay so this was a mouthful uh, you know discussion about the role of the forest now let us discuss some important points the forest promotes rainfall prevent soil erosion prevents flooding maintain the composition of the atmosphere reduces noise pollution acts as a wind barrier from the heavy winds provide medicines recreation lumber for the construction industry now all these benefits will be of no effect if we do not care for the trees which are there in the forest children to care for the forest we must identify what are the causes and its destruction and i have already told you at least if not in the whole year at least choose one day at least your birthday to plant trees let's move further let us discuss the types of forest there are different types of forest children which we have already discussed in the live classes okay and they are seen in the different parts of the world number 1 is tropical evergreen forest as you may see the beautiful picture as well these are also known as tropical rain forest the trees found are ebony mahogany 
and rosewood. Where are they found? They are found in Western Ghats, Northeast India and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The main features of these evergreen forests are that the trees in an evergreen forest do not shed their leaves. They remain green throughout the year. Let's move further to the second type of forest, which are the deciduous forests. Now, children, you have to understand that these deciduous forests are also called monsoon forests. Now, this particular information is already given on page number 83, 12, table 12.1 in your book. The, here, the trees found are teak, sal and sandalwood, which we also call in Hindi changam. Now, these uh, are found in the foothills of the Himalayas or the southern plateaus. Now, the main feature of deciduous forest are that the trees in deciduous forest shed their leaves in the dry season. Number third, the tropical thorn forest, as you can see the beautiful picture. Obviously, it's not beautiful because thorn forests, you know that they are grown in the desert area. We have done in the western desert as well. Let's see the key features. The trees found in thorn forest are babool, kikar, thorny shrubs. Where are they found? They are found in Rajasthan, in the states of Rajasthan, Gujarat and Haryana. The main features are the trees in thorn forest have long roots, thick barks, sharp thorns and small leaves. They can also survive without water for long periods. That's why they are known as thorn forest children. Let's move further to mountain forest. As you can see the picture also, the mountain forests are known as coniferous forests. Why are they known as coniferous forests? Let me tell you, but just wait. Let us discuss what are the trees found in the mountain forest. The trees found in the mountain forest are fir, pine and spruce. Now, where are they found? I have already told you, told you children that mountain forests are either found in the northmost side of India, which are the Himalayas and all they are found in Nilgiri Hills, which is in Tamil Nadu, which is the southern part of India. So extremely in the north or extremely in the south. Now, what are the main features? The trees in mountain forests are tall and they have pointed needle shaped leaves. Now, children, why are they known as coniferous rainforest? They are known as coniferous forest because that is why, you know, they bear cones. That is the reason they are also called coniferous forest. Now, let us come to the last forest, which are the mangrove forests. Mangrove forests are also known as tidal forests. Why are they known as tidal forests? Because tidal has come from the word tide and tide means water. So children, it's clearly, clearly, you know, uh, uh, advisable to understand these words from the word which they actually originate. So tidal has come from the word tide. Tide means water, okay? So, wherever there will be more of water, you will be finding out mangrove forest. The trees found over here are known as sundari. Sundari means beautiful in English. Now, where are they found? They are found in Ganga Brahmaputra Delta. Now, the main features are that the trees in mangrove forest have special roots that grow above the ground. Do not forget all these type of forests and please learn the table which is given in your book which is table 12.1. Thank you children. I will be seeing you soon for the next presentation, the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and please learn all the concept of chapter.